Brian, you had one more thing you were going to show us that you have in here. Yeah, what I have here, this is a really handy tool. I call it the Ergo. I didn't invent anything new, but I do a lot with the CO2. Uh huh. So what I have in here is two five-pound bottles of CO2. I keep a coil hose in here. Uh huh. And I keep my two pin guns in here. I have my 23 gauge Kdex, mm -hmm. and I have an 18 gauge by Max. And so what I do is I keep these bottles, uh, these five pound CO2 bottles filled. I have a hundred pound tank in my in my garage so that you I take, keep. Where do you take that to get your hundred pound tank filled? I uh, there's a place fairly local. I just swap them out and uh, swap out the hundred pound tank, and they give me a new one. And if you didn't have a hundred pound tank, you could just take it somewhere like just the paintball guy would do it, or yeah, it would it wouldn't be as uh, it would be a little cost prohibitive uh, filling them up on a regular basis, though the hundred pounder is much more uh -huh. cost effective. Um, so, it's CO2 runs uh, in between seven and nine hundred pounds pressure, and it expands. I don't recall. It th I think it's somewhere around seven hundred times when it hits the atmosphere. So this valve brings it down to one hundred and ten pounds. And this little bottle, I, I can trim out an entire kitchen uh, of crown molding, base, miscellaneous moldings on one bottle. It's actually pretty impressive what I what I can get out of it. But what makes this really handy is when you're working in hospitals, they don't want to hear, uh, in working environments in hospitals, they don't want to hear compressors. So this thing has nice quiet wheels. I roll it around. There's never a compressor to hear, and yet I'm able to use nail guns and do small repairs so and trim work. All you'd hear was the pop of the nail gun. All you hear no is compressor. the pop of the nail gun, yep. And a Brad gun's pretty quiet anyway. Very quiet, yeah. Now I don't. Um, I will use it on the lar on the 16 gauge trim guns, um, but the problem is that it uses so much air that it'll deplete the the tank. Um, one thing that's very important with CO2 is always keep the tank vertical. The moment a tank goes on its side and you get liquid CO2 running into the line, uh, you're going to freeze your O-rings and ruin them in the gun. So it's always important to keep that tank vertical. So it's nice you've got a spot for it, so Thanks. it can't tip. Correct.